he gives us uh, a, a presence in there right away. What most impressed me about him is how willing he is to look at himself and find for ways to get better. And that's impressive. When you're 45 year old and have that resume, and you're willing to admit I don't have all the answers. His best years are ahead of him in my mind. King General Manager Dean Lombardi's first hire will ultimately be his most important. Lombardi believes that Mark Crawford is the right man to lead the Kings back to prominence, and we're very happy to have the new head coach of the Kings join us live in studio, Mark Crawford. And Steve and I were talking about this last week about you being here, but before we start talking about some other things, what in the world happened, in your opinion, to this team last year, Coach, that started out so well and then the bottom just yeah. dropped right out? Well, it's never, it's never usually one thing that goes wrong. It's usually a combination of things that go wrong. Uh, I think there's a lot of strengths uh, in this Los Angeles Kings team, a lot of strengths that were built by Andy Murray and by Dave Taylor, and they're strengths that we can build upon with Dean Lombardi and myself. Uh, I think they've got a lot of talent, uh, and I do think that... Uh, uh, with a little bit of work in certain areas, we'll be able to forge ahead. But uh, again, I wasn't there uh, in their mm -hmm. dressing room, so you, unless you're right in the fire, you really don't have uh, an exact idea of, of where the problems were. All you can do is try to uh, build on uh, on the good foundation that's here. Steve, when Coach first walked in, he said, who is so cold in here? And I said, <laughs> we did it just for you, just to make you feel good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. It makes us good hockey weather. You better believe it. Yeah. Coach, I want to ask you a question, because last year, obviously, introducing a lot of new rules in the National Hockey League, and some teams seem to make a better adjustment to those rules. Do the Kings, you feel, have the right personnel to play in this new rule system that they have in the NHL? Well, I think one of the things that's happened in hockey now is there's a real premium on speed. Uh, there's a real premium on speed and size. Uh, so uh, if you have a combination of just speed, uh, then you're going to be pretty good. If you have that combination of speedy players with a little bit of size, then I think you can really build uh, on the new rules. I love the new rules. I think the new NHL, uh, it's got an emphasis on skill. Uh, I think that they penalize uh, people who are lazy and clumsy, and that's what should be penalized in any sport. You, shouldn't, uh, uh, you should compliment skilled players. You should compliment uh, uh, people that think uh, on the ice and people that can't, they should, they should have a harder time playing. What do you like the most about what you have now with this Kings team? Well, I like the diversity of the, of the group. You know, we've got a lot of players that have a European flair to their uh, game. I like uh, the fact that we have some good youthful players and people like Camilleri, uh people like Dustin Brown, people like uh, Tim Gleason on defense. And we've got some experienced guys there, too, uh, on the forward lines. Guys like uh, Conroy and Demetra and those types of people are very good quality players. Uh, obviously, uh, we're going to have to fill in some holes and uh, make improvements as we go along, but there is a lot to build on. But one great thing going in your favor, you have been there and done that. You've won the Stanley Cup. So that will that will serve wonders in your favor as far as getting these guys to believe in your system. Yeah, I hope hopefully it does. You know, the stature that you bring as a coach is is pretty important. Uh, I also believe that uh, you know right off the hop is when you probably got their attention the most. Uh, you know, players are, are much like anybody else in any workplace. A new boss comes in, they look at you right away, and they say, "What can you do for me?" And so uh, we're going to get off to a good start. You know, the start is going to be ultimately important uh, for us in our first training camp. How we approach things and just giving them that idea of, of how the attitude uh, is maybe not going to be uh, diversely changed, but how it is going to be uh, focused in areas that we think will allow us to win. Now, there's no doubt if you're going to have any designs on winning a Stanley Cup, you need great goaltending. Obviously, back then with Colorado, Patrick Wall, one of the greatest and not the greatest of all time. What is the current King situation? Are you satisfied with those that you have tending goal? Well, we've uh, we've talked with our goaltenders. We're right in, in the process now of, of looking at our coaching staff, and that's one position where you really need uh, the specialized coach. Uh, it's much like you know a golfer having a, a specific golf instructor. Uh, the goalie is a lot of muscle memory uh, in their position, and we're looking for uh, those guys to have a little bit of input in who we bring in uh, here uh, to Los Angeles to work with them. But I like the two goalies that we've got. Uh, La Barbara and uh, and Garant, they are both uh, seem like good kids that are still going to get better, and there's no doubt that they have to get better if we're going to improve as a hockey club. And there's no question he knows everybody that's on the roster.